Am I recording? I don't think I am. Hi everyone, my name is Saba and I'm a registered dental hygienist if you don't know me. If you do know me and you're back, thank you so much. I'm happy to have all of you here. Today, we are going to talk about how teeth whitening actually works. Your teeth can become stained over time. The surface stains on your teeth are also called extrinsic stains. How much of it and how fast they build up on your teeth depends on multiple factors. For example, your diet. How much coffee, tea, red wine, or any other food with tannin are you having? And your daily habits. Are you brushing and flossing regularly? Are you smoking? All of these things combined can and will impact how much stain builds up on your teeth over time. Also, your teeth can soak up the surface stains and turn them into intrinsic stains, which will make them tougher to remove. A lot of times, this happens with stains that are caused by smoking. So teeth whitening works in one of two ways. Number one is to mechanically remove the stains with abrasive agents. Basically, you're scrubbing the enamel until the stains go away. And this will be your whitening toothpastes. Whitening toothpastes use ingredients like hydrated silica, calcium carbonate, dicalcium phosphate, and sodium bicarbonate or baking soda as abrasive agents to remove the stains on your teeth. Your whitening toothpaste can help maintain white teeth, but it's usually not very effective at removing tough stains. And using them every day can be too abrasive for your teeth. On top of that, a lot of people usually end up over scrubbing their teeth because they really want to get the stains out. The other way that teeth whitening works is by using peroxide based products like hydrogen peroxide and carbamide peroxide. These are oxidizing agents that remove the stains from inside out. They go into your enamel and break down the pigment molecules. There are three ways that you can use peroxide based products for teeth whitening. Number one is whitening strips. This is the most affordable way to whiten your teeth at home. It may take a little longer, but you should still be able to get good results. The second way is to use trays and whitening gels. You would get the trays either from your dentist, which will be custom molded to your teeth, or you can get the trays from your local drugstore. I recommend getting the trays from your dentist. The whitening gels that come with the trays are usually stronger than whitening strips, and it will take less time for you to get the results you want. And the third way to use peroxide for teeth whitening is to get your teeth professionally whitened by your dentist. This is the fastest way of removing the tough stains on your teeth. So if you're in a time crunch and you need to get your teeth whitened as soon as possible, this will be a good method but it also means that it will be more expensive than using whitening strips or the gels, and you're more likely to experience tooth sensitivity. Now, experiencing tooth sensitivity with peroxide-based products is a very common side effect, but this is not a permanent sensitivity, and not everyone will experience it, and not everyone will experience it to the same level. What you can do to ease the sensitivity is to use toothpaste with potassium nitrate and fluoride. Whether you decide to use whitening toothpaste or peroxide-based products, it's important to remember that teeth whitening only works on natural teeth. So your crowns, veneers, bridges, implants, and white fillings, they will not change their color. And the results of teeth whitening is not permanent. Again, your diet and your habits will determine how fast the stains will come back. So talk to your dental hygienist and dentist and ask them what will be the best whitening routine for you. I hope this video was helpful for you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you want to find me on Instagram, it's the Tooth Files. I would love to have you there and talk to you. Be kind to yourself, be kind to your teeth, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.